actually try to squeeze my, my arms over the top of my lats because that actually will keep you erect. If, if not, if you're just sitting like this, when you, when you go down in a squat and come up, you have more of a tendency. Ed Cohn is widely regarded as one of the funniest men in all of powerlifting history. While there are many things that we can take away from him and learn from him, this video will focus on how to not fucking shit yourself when you're doing squats, like how to uh, be the most stable you can be, and uh, how to squat as much as Mr. Mr. Cohn himself does, I think, in this clip. He squats something like 225, which is very impressive to say the least. All jokes aside, if any of us tried to unrack the weight that he's doing here for his first attempt, I think we would all, like, actually die, so... Now, what I want you guys to look at while watching this amazing clip is, well, definitely not my calves. It is how, like Mr. Cohn said, I'm trying to literally fucking put my hands and my elbows on top of my lats. You'll see that I'm pretty sure doing this the first uh, few times I try, so I kind of look like a, I don't know, asylum patient trying to get that bitch in there. And then once it's there, I brace, fucking set that in place, unrag the bar, bam, do my first rep. And look at how fucking upright I stay, relatively. Any time now. A any minute, there we go. Alright, you know it's good advice when they have paint open. Um, the only issue is I do not know how to use paint that well. Brush. Okay, that should work. So, imagine this is a back. Why <makes noise> mechanically the most optimal way to grow this is to do the iliac pull down. No, so it's the, you know where the lats are, my guy. Basically, they're there. Now, what we want to do with this is uh, take our elbows and somehow try to put them <laughs> on top of the lats. This is an anatomically safe and accurate position. Let me give him a bicep vein or two. These are, these arms are like 17 inches lean. They're just fucking, the guy's torso is that big. Then he has that. Look at how fucking, look at how fucking stable he is. Everything here is squeezed together. Whereas, imagine our friend over here. Let's take away his arms. Let's imagine our friend over here didn't do that. <laughs> there we go. Here are his arms. They're fucking, they're still on the barbell. He's still holding it, but it's not as stable as it can be. Let's put the plane on there. Because all this shit is loose. And you do not want it to be loose. Look at our friend here. Look at how sad he is about this being loose. This will actually happen in the left side of your lower back. And this frowny face will appear if you don't fucking put your elbows on top of your lats when doing squats. So, all this shit will not be squeezed together. Which means, uh... You, you can see the tears rolling off of him. Because he's so fucking sad that he can't be stable. Which means that he won't be upright, won't be all the cool things that we want to do. And uh, Ed Cohn will be disappointed. <laughs> Most of all, this is the worst, worst fate you can possibly have. So, make sure to be like our first pal. I hope you enjoyed my Bob Ross epic paint stream. So if you somehow made it through that without clicking off the video, first of all, I congratulate you. Second of all, let's recap. So, you would like to keep your elbows on top of your lats, grab the bar as close as you can for your anatomical position, whatever that may be. Brace, and then fucking unrack that bar, and then just do your reps. As a reward for making it through the video, you get to watch the rest of this set. So try this tactic the next time you're about to do a set of squats, and let me know in the comments how it goes. I mean, I don't... I mean, you can write the comment. I probably won't see the comment because I have the YouTube extension to um, hide the comments, but yeah. Have a good one.